Used car dealer CarMax is seeing a lot of green. CarMax shares are racing higher after its third quarter profits doubled. The EV slowdown, also a big story this year. And just today, General Motors said it's buying out half of its 2,000 Buick dealerships nationwide based on their decision not to sell EVs. So let's talk more about that and the state of the auto industry with Daryl Kenningham, the president and CEO of Group One Automotive, which owns and operates more than 200 dealerships in both the U.S. and United Kingdom. Daryl, thank you very much for being here with us. Let's talk, first of all, big picture about the state of the auto industry. Many Americans still feel the pinch. They think it's too expensive to buy a car. Is there any relief anytime soon for consumers out there? Well, thank you for having me. Uh, you know, I think what we're seeing right now is indications that uh, there's a little more health with consumers than maybe we, we give them credit. Uh, affordability and interest rates are a concern, obviously. But when you look at the truck mix and the SUV mix in our uh, our business today, it's, it's higher than it's ever been. It was up again in November. Uh, and our OEM partners are being very aggressive with uh, uh, interest rate subvention and lease subvention programs, which uh, help address affordability for, for consumers. When you talk about affordability, that's been the knock on some of the EV narratives in the past and maybe even the current right now, this idea that they're too expensive, it's expensive to charge them, where can you find them, the infrastructure that's needed. How much has the EV story changed the used car market or the auto industry overall? And do you feel as though the slowdown that we're seeing right now is going to continue and people are going to just turn back to internal combustion engine cars? Well, I think it's important to know or important to, to, to look at, you know, EVs grew 37% last month. That's, that's a terrific growth rate for almost anything. And uh, even though they're growing uh, slower than maybe some anticipated and supplies are higher than uh, they are, we have for ICE vehicles, I think EVs are, are going to be part of our future. They're about 8% of the industry today. They've doubled in the last two years. So they're, they're becoming a more and more significant part of our business and, and for consumers. There, there's no disputing that there are some issues around range anxiety, affordability, uh, the ability to, to, to have it as a full-time everyday vehicle rather than as an additional car in the household. Uh, so I think once those issues get, get worked through, I, I think you'll see more adoption by EVs. But it's no secret that uh, the adoption curve is, is probably slower than anybody. And you've seen announcements from some of the OEMs slowing down their, their EV plans for the next couple of years as a result. Have you guys been caught in the middle of this, Daryl, with excess inventory, price cuts, unhappy dealers, things like that? Our uh, inventories are higher for EV than they are for our ICE vehicles and for our hybrids, that's for sure. And uh, I expect that uh, what we've seen is the OEMs are adjusting their production levels uh, to, be, to match demand more closely. Um, and I think you'll see that even out probably in the, the first or second quarter of next year. Uh, there'll be more equitable uh, inventory across uh, across all power plants. And you mentioned there in passing, but it is fascinating to watch how hybrids actually are selling pretty well and consumers seem more amenable to them than maybe pure EVs. Just want to ask you before we have to go, what can you tell us you expect about kind of auto inflation or deflation next year? As far as I understand it, we've corrected maybe a third of the price increase so far on the used car market especially, but do you expect deflation in this category next year? I think we'll see some continued pressure on used car pricing. Uh, we've seen it quite a bit here in the last uh, couple of months, especially. And I think uh, as the OEMs continue to address uh, uh, affordability on the new car side, uh, we'll see incentives uh, stay where they are, maybe increase a little bit. So I, I think you'll, you'll see a little bit of pressure. But uh, again, I, I, I see you know pretty healthy SAR levels at this point, and uh, the retail SAR is growing. So tells me there's still some pent-up demand. All right, so we'll tell buyers not to give your sellers too much trouble. Drive too you know, hard a bargain there uh, on the lot. <laughs> Daryl, Merry Christmas. Go. Thanks for joining Thank us. You. We appreciate it. Thank Daryl you, Kelly. Appreciate it. Thank you. Group One Auto.